indeed. Lovely stuff. The weather now, and it's been mild and dry, I cannot lie. Uh, it's rather <laughs> grand as well. Lily's here to show her weather. Shall we stop this rubbish? <laughs> I'm loving the poetry. I thought it was quite good, actually. <laughs> it's been awful, hasn't it? I mean, the weather's been lovely, hasn't it? Absolutely glorious. It has. We've had lovely weather, I suppose. Maybe the only thing to slightly complain about for some people is it is getting a bit darker. Yes. Now the clocks have changed with us, sunrise and sunset time. So the sun's coming up. Around 7am, not too bad for the early rises, but if you are working a 9 till 5, well, there's a good chance it is dark by the time you get home because the sun is now setting just before 5pm. Just one of the signs of winter, isn't it, as we approach those darker months. But if you think that's bad, we'll spare a thought for the people of Svalbard. <laughs> near to Norway, for them, the sun set on Saturday and it's not going to rise again until the 15th of February next year, meaning 113 days without sunlight. So that really is a long and dark winter for them. For us, we can't complain too much, really, can we, with you know, that? I, I always talk, think about the people of Svalbard about this time <laughs> of the year. I think it's poor old people. Eh? <laughs> But back in Jersey and, mm. and our slightly shorter, darker evenings, it's actually quite fitting for Halloween, isn't it? How's, that, how's the weather shaping up for that? Well, it does vary quite a lot each year, but I've dug out some of the headline figures. So we've had some warm weather over the year on Halloween. The hottest was in 2014. We had highs of more than 20 degrees in Jersey and more than 18 degrees in Guernsey. But we've had some wet weather too over the years. 43 millimetres of rain we had back in 1985. And of course, last year, Storm Kieran, that fell just a few days after Halloween. But over the years also, there have been some stormy conditions on the day itself. So this is based on historical records and diary entries. But in 1823, there was a prolonged and violent storm. Several ships wrecked. There were a number of remarkable rescues that took place. And debris was seen floating out to sea for the weeks after that. And then also in 1913, on the evening of Halloween, there was a severe gale that led to flooding all the way from St. Oban along to La Hole. Several houses were underwater as well. But this year, I'm pleased to say it's looking very settled on Halloween and over the next few days as well. Let's get all the details now. Here's your full forecast. Well, it has been mild today. We've had highs of more than 17 degrees. Fairly cloudy to begin, but that cloud breaking up throughout the day. So some lovely conditions to get outside or even on a dog walk. And in terms of what's to come over the next few days, well, the settled theme is continuing. It's going to be generally dry with light winds, variable amounts of cloud, but we should get some bright and sunny spells here and there. Notice though, temperatures might feel a touch cooler compared to the mild weather we've had today as we head into the weekend with a moderate breeze as well. Back to tonight then, it's staying dry and we'll have clear spells to begin with a light easterly breeze but gradually becoming more cloudy as we approach dawn and minimum temperatures tonight of around 10 and 11 degrees. So tomorrow is going to be another dry day, still light winds coming from that easterly direction, touch of cloud likely in the morning but we should also get some sunny spells as well and there's a possibility into the afternoon that we may see some mist so do keep an eye out for that. Maximum temperatures tomorrow of 16 and 17 degrees. Let's get our tide times now. Tomorrow between 5.30 and 6.30 in the morning. Later on from around 6 p.m. to 6.30 and the sea temperature is at 15.7 degrees. So in summary, lots of settled dry weather to come. The cloud covers the bit that's slightly uncertain, variable amounts, but we should at least get some sunny spells to come over the next few days. And the easterly winds notice they are bringing slightly cooler air. So mild day tomorrow, but as we head into the weekend slightly cooler temperatures back into the mid-teens it is so going to be staying dry and settled that's it from me take care